What's up team? Your boy J3 is back in the building. I got a special guest for you guys today. Yep. Ronan Joe Genji, Mr. Psychopedia, Cyborgpedia. Triple. <laughs> Triple. What's up, man? He's in the building, guys. Yo, you I'm guys here, man. you guys asked for this. You guys said, man, we want to know what Ronan thinks. You know, Ronan is the horror man when it comes to that. Facts. There's been many coming for that throne. Yeah. And you it. have usurped all of them. Yeah. So I'm coming for your throne next, but <laughs> we got to get on this Child's Play you already know official what it is. trailer number two. Yes. Shout out to Orion, man. I'm ready for this. We got some news. Mark Hamill came out yeah. the building and said that he is voicing Chucky. I was not expecting that, y'all, but Mark Hamill and who he is and what he's given us and then his credibility as a voice actor, I was <laughs> like, you know what? Mark, Chucky, Mark, give it to me. Okay. Yeah, he, and then you got um, you got composer Barry McCrary coming in. Mm -hmm. He's no stranger to television. I know who and he's horror talking film. about, but that's what's up. Go ahead. Tim Coldfield Lane, <laughs> Sarah Connor Chronicles, Battlestar Galactica, Walking Dead. Yeah. He's no stranger to the genre, man. So we're we going to have a good soundtrack, too. Yeah. I'm with it. I can't compete with all that knowledge, but I can say hey. Mark Hamill played the Hobgoblin in Spider-Man. Hey. He was the Joker. He also was uh, the trickster in the Flash, the Flash 96. Uh, yeah. 90 TV show. He, he, you know that, too. Y'all know Joker already. <laughs> Video game, the he's, animated series. He skipped he from clout. regular show. He got clout. So I know his voice. Yeah. Let's see if it's recognizable in this trailer. Hey, let's see. Let's watch this thing. Something's wrong with Chucky. Hey, yeah. I know this move has been really tough, but this is supposed to be a new start for us, remember? You said you were going to try to make new friends. Buddy can connect to and control all of your Caslin products and smart home devices. Wi-Fi. Introducing no, your new best friend. Old school Ryan, that's tight. Gave me some chills right there. Andy, if you know something, you better tell me. Something's wrong with Chucky. Buddy, can you connect to and control all of your cabinet power. Chucky is a toy. He could be anywhere. Welcome to Castle Cars. Oh, he's controlling it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just what we said. We have to stop him. Oh. Hey. Good night, Andy. Oh man, dude, I got chills, <laughs> bruh. No freaking lie. There it is, y'all. I got chills. I got oh. chills. Let that play, bro. Oh. That's a nod to Curse of Chucky in the original. That score's on point. Hey, they're paying tribute, bro. Oh, man. I got hey, chills, Hey, the, the signatures is there. I love it. I got chills, bro. Oh, man. Oh, dude. That was a new guy coming in doing a new thing. Yeah. That was a uh, shout-out to Child's Play 2 and Curse of Chucky. Oh, So dude. he's combining his with the original thing. Word, word. Respect. That's tight. Jeez, uh, first impression, man. Uh, I'm gonna let you take this one first. All right. Yeah. How you feeling? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I got a lot of nice themes out of this. Oh yeah. Felt like a nice, no doubt. like small soldiers meet Chucky, but meet Saul. Today, yeah. To, like, yeah. like, it, like that he's, tech, he's that doing, tech too, he's doing traps and stuff with cats. You know, Home Alone tight. type status, like. He, he's utilizing his size a little bit more and using his brain instead of being just a straight up slasher type film. It looks yeah. like he's capturing people, torturing individuals. I think that's a nice way of taking it. Uh, I did get some chills, man, with that voice. Mark Hamill sounds scary. I ain't gonna lie. That that <laughs> that that really got me right there. Oh, um, man. The whole setup it still has a, a overacting theme to it, which I like. Uh, I don't expect 
A-class acting in this movie. I expect you to go back to, talk to me, damn it. Talk to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. You stupid horse. Ah! I, I, <laughs> that's what I want. Mark brought the and, brain message, and, dude. And I think I'm going to get that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get that. I expect to get that because this cast looked fire though. For 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 a horror film genre, the acting like it's gonna be natural, it's gonna be organic. The cast they got lined up here is very good yeah. for a movie of this magnitude because it kind of levels the playing field. When you said you don't expect Oscar winning acting, I respect that. Then you look at who they bring into a movie like the do Okay, it's gonna elevate the material even more because yeah. of how good they are. Yeah, yeah. So I, I respect all of that, man. And and I think that's great. This whole tech idea with it. It's different. Uh, I gotta see it to believe it type idea. Like it's not really, you know, set up for me where you know we're used to the whole curse and the voodoo idea. To, right. you know, but now it looks more like some uh, uh, um, uh, computerized type ideas. It kind of reminds sense. me of RoboCop one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe what a killer. What a ki But yeah. RoboCop one was a killer. They took yeah. the brain of the took killer the and put them in the other one. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. So I think we might have something like that. That's my first impression seeing this. Hey, bro, like when we did the last, uh, the uh, official teaser for the, the last trailer, uh, yeah. my predictions was correct from what I just seen <laughs> from this official trailer. So, hey, shout out to me, man. Like everything that I said was like, they did it. Yeah. And I'm all for it because it brings it into the 21st century, brings a little bit more of a realism factor, and then it brings more of a suspense level because you can actually believe what's happening. Mm -hmm. Technology is a part of our lives. Yeah. Everything we do is tech. Yeah. AI and all that. It's not science fiction no more. Back in 1988, it was. Now yeah. it's happened. It's possible. Yeah. So I love that we they're here. playing with that whole idea. And then, uh, you know, it's still a slasher movie. Shout out to Halloween for being successful. Otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten this. Um, Mark Hamill. Everything, all the ingredients are there. Uh, this first time director, Lars Klevberg, looks like he's been directing other films. And even though he, this is a new project for him, it feels like he's been doing this for a minute. I'm getting good vibes like he's been directing multiple films already. Mm -hmm. So... For a first timer, that's pretty impressive too, man. It looks like he's handling this with love and respect. He's obviously a fan of the original. I'm glad that this is a reboot and not messing with Don Mancini's canon. So I feel like, you know, as far as like Slasher fans were winning, Chucky fans are winning, even if you don't agree with this new movie coming out, you gotta remember, uh, Universal owns the rights to the sequels. Orion owns the rights to the original film. That's why this is coming out. Yeah. So everyone's jumping the gun saying, oh, they're messing with Diamond Cena's canon in their perspective. No, it's two separate properties and the original timeline oh. is still going. So you guys are good. You're We're being spoiled. For We're being uh. spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> no, you guys get it right. Yeah. So <laughs> let that, you know, Universal owns the sequels. Orion owns the original. So for those that are confused, there you go. Gosh. This trailer was fire. I'm ready for it. Uh, day one, I will be uh, doing a double feature of this and Toy Story. This is gonna be tight. Which one you watching first? Well, well, we answer that in a minute. <laughs> let's watch but this yeah, trailer again. This let's, is fine. Let's take a look at this trailer again. Something's wrong with this. He looks like the best I've ever seen. Child actor too. Nah, I ain't talking about that child. I'm talking about that sick freaking beginning oh, of this. Jack Black looking one of Yeah, <laughs> that's what <laughs> Dustin's gonna look like on Stranger Things. That's funny. You said you were gonna try to make new friends. Buddy can connect His mom's kind of high. Oh, shout out to Harvey Plus. She's on Legion too. Introducing your new best friend. It's like they ain't made a movie since with them at that low. Like they kept that. Yeah. <laughs> that's him. I gotta be him, right? That's scary, and he's moving. Fred, Fred, that's what it is, bro. Mom, I need to tell you something, and I need you to he's leave. Hearing it. Yeah, that's why it's funny. You can't hear him coming. Yo, bro, more suspense. Take that shit out. Oh, he's done, bro. That's hot. That's effed up, bro. It's like putting a blind man in a movie. Though. Andy, if you know something, you better tell me. Something's wrong with Chucky. Chucky? Buddy can connect to and control all of your cameras. Chucky is a toy. He could be anywhere. Welcome to Castle and Car. Oh, wrong dude. He's gonna go down. Bro. Shopping people. We have to stop him. He got his homies up in him. Oh. He got everybody. Yeah. Everybody's involved. Good night, Andy. That still got me right there. 
That still got me, bro. It's going to be action-based, too. And I, I think we're going to get some fight scenes in here from what I'm seeing. Yeah. And he's got his homeboys, his little Stand By Me squad. They oh, yeah. had weapons. Yeah. Hey, look, hey, bro. Stand By his knife because they're going <laughs> to die. They better die. I don't want no bullshit. They're to, pushing to the playing you. field, man. This is dope. It's going to be an action film, too. Like, I'm... It looks, like, slasher, it's, it looks like and it's gonna be thriller. It looks like more people believe Andy this time around. Yes, and that's a good thing. And you know, it's kind of funny because Andy looks like he's like twelve or something. Yeah, and his mom should be ashamed of herself for buying this dog called Buddy. Uh, that's whack. That 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 alone, just being honest, doesn't make any sense. This I got you on that. Twelve year old boy, what are you doing? We know why it's happening, but I hear it's just relative as far as you're saying. Yeah. That's dumb. Yeah. I I wouldn't want no toy named Buddy. And, you know, observation. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Hey, Teddy Ruxman was hot back in the day, bro. Yeah, but I was a baby. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was, was stories that he was thing. reading. He wasn't trying to mess yeah, with me. Yeah. He, he, I was three, four. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I wasn't 13. The market, guys. The old school market. I, I, I would have never looked at that for it would have been collectors. But yeah. I noticed this. It says Buddy, right? Yeah. Now, maybe it's me. I don't know. But isn't I feminine and wise male? It is. Right? Yeah. All right. That that's why. Oh, I see where you're going with it. Yeah. Why is Buddy spelled with an I? That's dumb. That's not. I, I remember that. Like that's the whole point of your name starting with a. Like my name is Jerry. Jerry could be. It's a unisex name. But gotcha. you spell it for yeah. a female. You spell it J E R R I. And for a boy, it's J J E E R R Y. I don't really know the meaning behind that. I, maybe they won't speak on that too much. Maybe that's Man, just the that's whack. company. I don't know. It's just it should be a Y. I just I they, just observation. I hope they don't do somewhere like that because I, I can also kind of see where you're going as far as them. Is is Chucky gonna be unisex or something? Or, but I hope they keep him Charles Lee Ray. I don't think they'll do that. I don't think they'll mess with that. I don't think they're gonna mess with his gender. That's that's too much. Because Chucky's a simple. It's it's too. You don't have to make uh, it complex. Woman's soul inside of him or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just saying. I, it's just. It's I not. It's not now. Chucky, but it's the name Buddy. Yeah, the way that. Like, why you spell it with an I? Well, then that's probably the corporation or. Something. I don't know. That's, that's whack. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Maybe that's on their part. I don't know. But I do see what you're saying. I'm just. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm overthinking it. The rights. Hmm. Okay. Could be the rights. Could be. Could be the rights between the two companies. Yeah. Could be. They can't use the word Buddy. With the Y, because in the original film, yeah, it's with an Y, yeah, and now because they have to make a reboot, they have to use an I. Probably to change it, yeah. Maybe I'm overthinking. So they won't get sued. So they won't get sued. Yeah. All right. So we solved that by speaking out loud. There we go. That's tight. Hey. Home <laughs> uh, <laughs> run. That's keeps keeping it 100. But great trailer though. This trailer was fire. I I'm liked it. It gave me chills. Even though I expect to see slashing also like that, it gave me chills. And uh, so I know somebody's in the comments right now. How, how could you be excited about this? It's a reboot, it's ruined. Nah, the original timeline is still going. Yeah, chill. Yeah, it go, we're getting go. Child's Play on Sci Fi Channel mm -hmm. with the original creator in a new movie. Mm -hmm. Winning, you're winning. Pick or choose what side you want to go to. I love both. Choose, yeah, he loves both. It's what it is. It's fire. I just think this is something cool to watch. It's tight. Something. And Slashers is coming back. Stop complaining, yeah, man. I think, Serial I think, Killers is coming back in the cinema genre. This is yep. tight. No, all we need is America's Most Wanted. Hey. We solid. And That's another Jason. That's not a, hard. Come on, uh, Paramount. Give me another Friday I think, the 13th. I think, I think they're doing it. I think they're doing it. It's I a think. battle between the rights issues going on right now with uh, Victor Miller and uh, New Line and all them. They're fighting for it because okay. he didn't get credits because he was uh, the original screenwriter and stuff. So. Okay. But I wanted to go back on what you was talking about, about uh, when I mentioned Andy being deaf. Mm -hmm. There was another slasher movie that's on Netflix you can watch. It was a Blumhouse movie. It was called Hush. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of like Halloween. Okay. But the main uh, female protagonist was deaf, and she was a writer, and she was out in the cabin. And this guy was stalking her, bro. And it was nothing she can do because she was a mute, though. But she had to figure out how to use her home surrounding to survive and get out of this because this man was just messing with her. He had nothing to do, no motivation, just showed up in a mask taunting this lady. Tight. Nothing she can do, but she fought back. It was tight. It was called Hush. Hush. Dope. This fool has an ear and aid. That's gonna that be level's the plan for it, bro, because that makes more realism suspense, too. And you and you kind of are rooting for him a little bit more because you're like, we see and we hear what's going on, but our main character is like, what's going on? That's going to be ability. tricky for the director. The yeah. director really going to have to show why Chucky, like, you know what I mean? It's going to have to be scenes where it's like, ee. And you got to really mess with the sound, too. You got to. This is a sound-based yeah. type idea. Because if we start going... We're gonna feel what the character's feeling. Yeah. So I like that whole thing. And you finna get knocked upside his head with a bat. <laughs> I can't wait. But it, I, I gotta know Chucky's motivation now. For sure. Because originally it was that whoever you talk to first was something like that. Facts. 
you you have the right to take their body or some shit, right? Yeah. So what is Chucky's motivation with Andy? Yep. If he's a cyborg or some computer tech, what is the motivation? Is he just a killing robot? Is there a, a, a jigsaw head yeah. of all this that's caving over the corporation or something? <laughs> what is the, the, the motivation to killing or taking Andy? Yeah. Is it is it his father? That'd be crazy. Right? Man. His daddy's really Chucky. <laughs> That'd be right, up. right. I'm just saying, but uh, that's the reaction and slash discussion. Yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the real. We keep that 100 at all times. Yep. Shout out to my boy Ron Joe Genji for coming in the building. Shout out for having me, brother. This Thank was you. fun. Just tight. Takes me back. And uh, for the haters out there, and those that try to ruin movies like Endgame, because I know y'all coming, you guys are gonna get one of these. And with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up this video. And don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm J3. Running Joe Genji, Cyborgpedia. We out.